Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Aries Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. All right. What is going on for Aries Spirit? What is the message? Someone is having second thoughts. They want to open honest conversations of let's be honest, and they feel like maybe something is meant to be. You or someone else may not be sure about that. That's under the deck. So the main, I think it, like the main thing is just someone is having second thoughts. They really, they don't want to break up or they don't want to move on or they, they don't want this change to happen. Let's see. What is going on with Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Rear coins, moon. Someone doesn't know how they feel. It's like they need to explore their feelings. It could be messages. You may be okay, though, without this person in your life. The nine of coins being the outcome. They could be a Pisces Cancer, but um, Six of Cups went flying out and it actually came out in reverse. So again, you could have someone who wants to come back around and reconcile with you or talk to you or something. So just be aware of that. And you may be kind of surprised over the weekend to hear messages from this person. I get they actually may leave a voicemail. Do people really leave voicemails anymore? Mm, but okay, so, I think some of you have been working like to promote yourself at your job or working on at your degree or something like that. Also, I also get out another note. Some of you may be upset or angry at a friend or someone in a friend group, but I feel like that's going to work itself out. Just FYI. Person may be a Taurus. This person may also be religious. Maybe they have different beliefs than you and it was, con was conflicting at the time or something, but I kind of feel like this is somebody who you moved away from and, and, you don't necessarily really want to go back to this person or situation. Let me see your outcome. Yeah, look at as I'm picking up. I feel like you're okay right now. You're good, whether you're dating or single or whatever's going on. I get that you, this person is not usually on your mind. They could be a Leo. I don't know if I said that, but they might be a Leo. So what is going on for Aries? What does Aries need to know? Versus this person is feeling out in the cold. They're not happy in a relationship they're in. You, however, know the truth of the situation. So there, maybe there's some regret. They regret who they're with or something like that. You may know or feel that they are in another situation. So maybe you think, no, this is a third party. You don't want to get involved. For somebody, this is a person at your job. You work someplace where there's a lot of people and they were dating you. Then they moved on to someone else. Now they want to come back towards you. And you're just kind of like, that's not what I want to do. This person wants to tell you that they feel like the two of you are meant to be together, but I think this person is going to profess their love to you. They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. They don't like what they're doing. They don't like to be out in the cold. This person may be codependent, and that tells you a lot. It means you're not dependent on them. You're not codependent. So it kind of looks like this person doesn't like to be alone. They have a fear of being alone. So I don't know if you knew this, but if not, that's partly what's pushing this connection towards you, towards you. I am thinking here, let me see, Six of Cups, what the cards are telling me. Anyways, not, I don't. They're going to want to take you out. Okay, so they're going to want to take you someplace nice, maybe even bring you a gift. They could even apologize with the Page of Coin. One more for the Page of Coin. Yeah, see, I keep getting this energy of you aren't really into this person, but they want to get back together. What is this down here in the hidden position? They're hoping they can work this out with you. You've been through this with them, though. This may have taken a while to get over for some of you, maybe even years. And so I just see you in a really good place overall mentally. I can always tell, like, when I do a personal reading for somebody, where they're at in their healing journey, how they are. And I get, like, you're doing really, really well. So to get back together with this person, it would be like taking 10 steps backwards. You may go out with them just to hear what they have to say to go out on a date, possibly. But others of you may not even want to do that. Some of you have no feelings for this person whatsoever. Usually I get the death card for that, but Eight of Cups is kind of telling me that, no, you don't really have anything left for this person. They could be a water sign. They could be very emotional. Look at the star card and the Seven of Swords fell out my hand. I guess, yeah, I get like, they may say, they may try to convince you this is meant to be, and you're just like, no, nah, I don't think so. I want to block you now, or... Got an earth sign under here as well. So maybe maybe going towards an earth sign. There may be a new earth sign for some of you coming in. No, I get like there was, let's see what this person has to say since we're here. 
they made a so this person made a mistake. They made a complete mistake by going off with someone else, and they're seeing that now, and they want a second chance. They're having second thoughts about this. But your energy looks fabulous, Aries. I just have to say that again. It really does. Okay, so it says I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. I get there was gossip. I get there was a lot of crap around this situation. People may have been talking about you. And they listened and they went along. Maybe they even hurt your feelings, embarrassed you is kind of what I'm getting. Also, if this was like a work or office situation, it's not for all of you, but just, I feel like there could have been definitely someone third party involved at one time. I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do over. I never felt anything like this before. I think they have a fear of being alone more than anything. I think they're um, having an, a breakthrough or some sort of epiphany about, you know, Maybe all the damage they've done to people, the bridges they burn, and now it's time for them to, you know, learn from that and be alone, be on their own. You're perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. I feel like this is the Page of Cups energy, like trying to woo you, butter you up, telling you everything that they miss about you. And it, it probably is true. You probably were good to them, or kind to them, or loving, or fun, and then, okay, they just kind of threw it away. Nobody understands me like you, yeah. and it's not you, it's me. So it is them. It's together with you is pure bliss. They have good memories about you because I do feel like you were very open to listening to this person. You understood them. You were caring. You gave them advice if they wanted it. And I just feel like you really put it out there for them, Aries, or do. They're learning a lesson here that treating People, the way they treat you, like they, like they threw it away. Like people are disposable. Relationships are disposable. Like they could find someone else. Or maybe they just didn't even care. Maybe they took it for granted. But this is a huge learning lesson for them in a wake-up call. I'm also getting that they're getting past their prime. Uh, that's what Spirit said. I didn't say it. They're saying like they're not going to always find somebody, you know, anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, sometimes people get better looking with age or, you know, they never run out of options. But I get this person maybe running out of options. Seven of Cups is here, and I get that they burn bridges or they have a reputation or something like that, or they just have really negative energy, and people are picking up on that when they start dating somebody new. I feel like this, again, is, you know, a lot of this has to do with karma, which is just choices. It's it's what comes around from choices people make. Yeah, I just feel like you're not happy with this person. Queen of Swords energy tells me that you just... I feel like for some of you, also, there was an ex-wife involved. Queen of Swords sometimes can show an ex-wife someone who's angry, but... That's a different story, but I do feel like this may be you unhappy with this person. So let me see one card of really quickly what we need to know, what we need to know about this person, what we need to know the situation. I got two here. Signs and synchronicities or some healing. I feel like this is for you. You've been probably seeing a lot of angel numbers, 222-777-333, fours. Um, you have done a really, I think Spirit wants to, again, Praise you for the healing work you've done. Under the deck, I do see text message. So I do know this person's going to, again, come out of the blue. I think this person's old school. I kind of get like they're going to leave you a voicemail. So you might want to check your voicemails if you're not used to doing that. Or something like that. I just kind of get, they may have a beard or a mustache now where they didn't before. Maybe they shaved it off. It's vice versa. I'm seeing some facial hair. So I'm also getting like a CH name, like Charlie Chuck. Ch I don't know what other names, but I think it was Charles that I heard. Trust. Okay, so like the card says it's safe to trust in the situation. I don't think it's the situation. I think it's your intuition. It's your inner guidance. It's your knowing. Trust that you know it's best. Because look at the energy again in your... This is either how you're feeling or how they view you, but all of it's really good energy. It's like being very positive. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.